Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Today uh, we're gonna to be talking about how to create rounded button uh, in Xcode, also with border, shadow, and even image icon. Very customized button actually. Yeah, so you need to know there is always link to the source code so in comments and uh, yeah we can start the project and as usual i show you how will be our auto so you'll we'll, you'll see that we have four button and uh, you know even with different fonts and uh, we have icon different color different shadow and everything is customized and you will see how easy it gonna be okay so I'm gonna stop this and I say file new project yeah single view app Swift and I say iOS Swift UI button Customized zero one, and yeah, I'm gonna create in final Swift. Okay, so for main storyboard, you will see I just add four button. I don't do any single change on them. Uh, just uh, about the size. So I'll go to main storyboard. I, put, I open assistant I did actually in the library, and here I just type button, and then I can drop my first button. The only things I do, I just give it the size and make it to keep its size, and. Yeah, here you go, add width and height, here you go, and then I'm gonna command C, command V, command V, and command V. So I select all of them as editor embed in as a stack view, and I say this is stack view B center for me both vertically and horizontally and at the last I just say background of uh, I select my uh, screen I go to attribute tab and say okay my background make it blue dark blue see this is light blue something like this dark blue background yeah let's go to custom to select something more beautiful yeah something like this even darker yeah here we go okay so uh, the only things uh, remain I just need to connect it for connected uh, you know for connection I use IB outlets uh, you know I don't go over uh, action so I just here I just said I B outlets weak variable edit button from type of UI button and extension mark to make sure it's never gonna be empty so I make a copy of that and I make another one for delete button the third one I make it for refresh button and the last one I'm gonna say for example lock button so but we need to connect it uh, you know uh, when you uh, type it here then you don't even go to assistant editor you can just come here 
tab and view button like this you can right click and uh, from delete for example we say let's make decision which one do you want to be delete so yeah first one I'm gonna make the first one delete second one edit third one lock and the last one refresh okay so delete edit lock and refresh that's it now we made connections uh, we can go to coding part in coding part you know I'm gonna add a file this file do all for us so I just created Swift file I name it extensions yeah by default it's gonna be empty and uh, import foundation but I want to make it to help my UI kit so I just import UI kits and I have this part actually pre-typed um, uh, so yeah let me copy it all and then I'm gonna talk about the what I did in this extension so in this extension I'm, I extend UI button also as well I do extend UI color and uh, then here I come, I select, I just in view the load, I just say okay, my edit button, the as soon as you type dots, I can, yeah, I need to save this extension, and this one then here on edit uh, any button when you type you can call for example set to edits for example delete button set to I said to delete and refresh button set to Yeah, actually, I named it wrong. It should be, you know, for refresh button. Uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't make a function for refresh. I made something for add. So, you know what? I actually, it's good. I, I'm going to show you how you can change this. If you have a connection, if you change it, uh, you know, here, then you will lose connection. But what if, uh, if you want to do it without losing connection? Just come push command and then. I click on this uh, and here you can choose rename then rename will open this in our scope you can change it so you here you can say okay my refresh button change it to add button here you go so now here I just say add button dot set to add and the last one lock button the set to lock you'll see how easy we made but uh, before I run it I just show you what we did so uh, in extension pretty easy I just say extend UI button and then I make a function in this function I uh, just say because this function is a UI button I just say okay this function gets you one UI button so self that set title and I give it title delete I give it uh, 
color, I give it a font, background, uh, you know, even tint color, corner radius, and the shadow. But you will see here I use UI color hex dot cg color, but we don't have this signature for UI color. Uh, what I did uh, here I, in extension UI color, uh, I made this as an init, so convenience init, get a hex with type of a string and alpha if not alpha if don't you don't give it alpha it's gonna get it uh, value one for it and then uh, I made a color based of this so I picked up any letter uh, you know we, we have a uh, uh, if you've been uh, subscribed in channel, uh, we have a UI color video and talking about this in more detail. So yeah, let's uh, run and see how will we. But first, I'm gonna choose iPhone 8 Plus as I have it open already, and simulator open for that, and see how will be our output. So you can use like this, just add this extension to your project and just do it. Yes, you will see I have everything except pictures. Yes, because I didn't copy pictures. So I'm going to go to assets uh, directory and uh, I'll go to my finder. I have this uh, pictures ready and I'm going to drop them uh, here. So add icon, delete icon and the feedback and log and uh, you will see in extension I use this pictures here so set image UI image lock or set image UI image feedback for edit and yeah so I'm gonna stop this and run it again and you will see that we have now pictures in there as well so yes uh, here we made these beautiful uh, buttons and uh, as you see they are very handy and easy so you just need to do this extension to your project and use it or even you can make it more customized for yourself okay uh, that's it for today i hope you like the video if you like it please make sure to give it a thumbs up also do, uh, don't forget to subscribe for more video and also uh, completion uh, videos that coming and also already exist in the project uh, in the um, channel and uh, if you have any question ask in comment i'll be more than happy to help i wish the best for you and have a great one bye bye